once again, everybody. TMW here, and welcome to another Mailbag Monday. And Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Festivus, Kwanzaa, whatever you choose to celebrate this time of year. I hope you have a wonderful holiday for it. How's everybody doing? Very small mailbag this week, uh, so we're just going to dig right into it. If you missed last week's Mailbag Monday, uh, uh, do check that out. I'll put the link in here uh, just in case you missed it because there were like 12 titles last week. It was sort of a good, like, final, towards the end of the month burst of activity. And uh, so go have a look at that, but uh, we'll just dig right into this week's books and see what we have, shall we? Okay, so this first package is from St. Martin's Press, and it is... Hmm, okay. Uh, looks like a good old-fashioned space opera, a book called Star Road. The authors are Matthew Costello and Rick Hotala. I know Rick Hot uh, well, I know both their names, but uh, I know Rick Hotala as uh, mostly a horror writer, so uh, this appears to be going a bit afield for him, shall we? So let's have a look and see what this is all about. Um, a rebel and an outlaw lead an unsuspecting group of adventurers on a secret mission across the vastness of space in Matthew Costello and Rick Hotala's new science fiction epic, Star Road. Uh, Ivan Delgato, a former leader of a rebel group called the Runners, is released from jail on the condition that he carry out a secret mission for the World Council. His mission is simple, stay undercover, but do absolutely anything necessary to reach the planet Omega-9 and uh, offer the renegade runners clemency if they surrender, which may be complicated since Ivan's brutally violent brother has taken lead of the runners in a Ivan's absence, and so on and so forth. So yeah, sounds uh, like very traditional stuff, but uh, there's a place for that, and this could be really good escapism. So let me know in the comments, Star Road by Matthew Costello, and Rick Hotala from St. Martin's Press, and it drops on, what's the date, does it say? Um, oh, it just says uh, January, so, coming up. And this one is uh, from Prometheus, so uh, another Pyre release for the end of the year. And this is an arc for a book titled, oh, a uh, new book by John Sprunk called Blood and Iron, uh, the Book of the Black Earth, Part 1. Have a look at that. Blood and Iron by John Sprunk. This action-heavy epic fantasy series opener is like a sword and sorcery Spartacus set in a richly imagined world. It starts with a shipwreck following a magical storm at sea. Horus, a soldier from the west, had joined the Great Crusade against the heathens of Akashin after the deaths of his wife and son from plague. When he washes ashore, he finds himself at the mercy of the very people he was sent to kill, who speak a language and have a culture and customs he doesn't even begin to understand. Not long after, Horus is pressed into service as a house slave, but this doesn't last. The Akashians discover that Horus was a latent sorcerer, and he is catapulted from the chains of a slave to the halls of power in the Queen's court. Together with Jerem, an ex-mercenary and gladiator, and Alyra, a spy in the court, he will seek a path to free himself and the Empire's cast of slaves from a system where every man and woman must pay the price of blood or iron, etc., etc. Okay, so here we are. Um, slave revolts and uh, bloody carnage and what have you. And uh, Blood and Iron, the author is John Sprunk, and this is released March 11th. And finally, we have a package here from Random House. And it feels like it might have more than one thing in it, so uh, we'll find out. Oh, that's what's fun about these packages. It's always a mystery. What's in some? Usually it's a mystery. Huh, okay. Uh, they've actually already sent me some of these, but uh, they have uh, just resent me for the heck of it. This entire sort of, uh, I don't know if it's steampunk or gas lamp fantasy uh, trilogy uh, by an author named Emma Jane Holloway. This is uh, a study in silks, uh, a study in ashes, and a study in darkness altogether. This is a new trilogy. It's one of those that's it's following this trend of let's put out the whole thing three months in a row back to back. I guess for people who like binge reading in the same way that uh, you know people on Netflix like to binge an entire TV season in one go. So here you are. It's uh, you have uh, well, hang on, let me uh, hold them in a, a way that will hopefully not have them flying all over the room so you can kind of see the covers. As yes, you see, that you have this very attractively dressed young lady in her, I guess, uh, sort of Victorian regalia, and it's this trilogy. Uh, most of which, I think, or maybe all of which, are pretty much already in stores right now. So let me know if you'd like to read these um, and uh, see what they're all about. Uh, I kind of like to read them. I mean, they do have kind of a look of maybe a romantic fantasy kind of thing, but I don't mind that. Uh, that's all right. So here you go. Uh, Emma Jane Holloway's complete trilogy now available. 
Okay, everybody, uh, thanks again for watching. That's uh, all we have uh, this week on Mailbag Monday. As for next week, uh, will there be a Mailbag Monday? Maybe not. I don't anticipate getting new books in the mail uh, really this week for obvious reasons. All my lovely publishers and publicists are at home uh, having a break, enjoying uh, the holiday with their families, and I hope you do that as well. As always, if you enjoy watching, please leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, that's very important if you haven't done so, and please encourage all of your SFF reading friends uh, to subscribe as well, share these videos with them. Please help the channel grow in the new year. I, I'm hoping for a real mushrooming uh, as the new year uh, comes upon us uh, for the channel. Um, if there is not a Mailbag Monday next Monday, then uh, I'll probably just do a really quick generic, you know, hello, happy new year episode. I'll, you know, wish everyone a terrific new year, happy reading. I'll talk about my reading goals and plans uh, for the new year for 2014, as well as you know my plans for this channel, the website, what have you. Uh, and also uh, the decisions that I've made regarding uh, monetizing the channel. I am not gonna do traditional uh, Google AdSense uh, through YouTube advertising, uh, which will be great for you guys. You know, mine won't be any of the videos that you have to like constantly be skipping over those ads at the very beginning. Uh, but there um, are approaches that I am thinking about taking, so may talk about that, but uh, bleh, otherwise that's all yak yak details and stuff. Uh, so thank you again, and I will see you soon. Have a great Christmas, holiday, whatever. Happy reading. Bye.